Hello, welcome back to 3D AutoCAD and Advanced Practice. Today we are going to make this drawing 3D jet engine. So there is nothing much here to explain. So without wasting time, let's go to AutoCAD environment. So this is my AutoCAD environment. So first of all, I'm going to make a pick this spline tool and make a video like this. You don't really need to be precise. Just draw something, you know, something, something like this. Okay, just something close to this. So then I will pick a three points arc tool. Then I will make another video, something like this. Okay. All right. So let's make click no icon here. All right. So then from there I'm going to move this upward so make sure i move it on the same plane okay so i will just move it straight like this okay then from there i'm going to pick this line to and join it let me turn on object snap mode i'll just join this to this enter also join this to this okay so from there i'm going i'm going to this surface and i will click on network okay then from there i will click this one and then click this one enter then click this one and then click this one enter and you will have this video like this to see this clearly we can go to home that and then change the visual style to shade it and you will see how it looks like you can actually rotate this to see exactly how it is you can see you can see that right okay all right so let's go back to the way it was okay so we were at home Okay, so I'm going to turn on to top view and I'm going to rotate it like this. Okay. So let me change this to parallel. And I'm going to mod um, polar do polar array. So I will select polar array. I will select this object. I will enter. Then I will look for like a, a common center. Maybe let's assume this is a center i will click here and in the number of items let me put like 21 okay then i will have something like this okay when you are satisfied with the number or the way it appears you can now close the array okay at this point i'm going to make a circle so let me pick a circle tool mm, just come to the center here near the center here let me turn off this so that i would not be distracted so just any random center here point that looks like center you just make a circle like this okay and then you make another circle but this time around you have to make from the same center so let's look yeah look at the center here you make a very tiny circle something close to this okay so let's see where those things are okay so uh, so I'm going to move one upward so let me select this small one type M okay so uh, let me go back home from there I can move it upward so okay, I move it up like this when you are satisfied with the heights you can stop okay so let's see that yeah let me see the other one okay they are in order so from here I'm going to pick this uh, loft tool just click on this loft tool when you click you click on this 
button here and you click on this dot here yes and then you enter then you you see something that looks like this so for you to adjust this you can click on this right a, 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 a drawing something that looks like a inverted triangle here so when you click on it you see draft angle so you click on this draft angle when you click on that draft angle you see another arrow like you click on it and then you can now see another arrow which you can now adjust this you can adjust it the way you want it to look like okay so when you are satisfied you can stop you go up here you do also adjustment up like for me like this is okay you click when you are satisfied you enter and you will have something like this okay let's let's go uh, let's rotate, uh, rotate this and see how it looks like so you see i will have something like this okay so at this point i'm going to add another detail so i will go to the top here right let me change it to parallel at this one i'm going to make it this circle pick circle to you look, look at the center here so let's look at the center okay so i've located the center because my auto uh, object snap is on you make a circle that looks like this just out make make sure it's it covers the whole drawing and have some space out then you can repeat the circle again you repeat the circle the same center this time around you can make it smaller okay when you are satisfied you drop it you make another circle with the same center this time around you make a circle that you just make sure is almost half of the former circle just there's no dimension just use your imagination make sure it's half then you make another one try and locate the center let me turn on auto to object snap okay i'm going to off it again to avoid distraction and then i'll have another one something like this okay so let's see we i'm going to separate their plane okay so i'm going to move those small side circles I'm going to move those small circles downward so I will select them just select them move and enter so I'm going to click on this and move them downward like this okay uh -huh. I can even move it more uh, down uh, more than that so let's let's let me go down a little okay i think that's fine so then for the one the big one i can move only the one inside here just select the one inside. i'm moving it slight just downwards a small distance right so we are almost almost there so the next thing i'm going to do i will click on this surface i'll click on this loft tool and what i will do i will click i will select the small outer circle here the small one but the outer one to click on it and then i will click the big outer one here and then the next thing i will click the big inner one here i will have something like this then i will click enter when i click enter i should have this arrow again for me to adjust so you click on it and you see draft angle you click on draft angle and you start adjusting this so that you when you when you are satisfied you can stop so i will adjust it like this okay then you can go to the top here also do the same thing until you are satisfied something like this this one there is no change there is no big change so you can leave it okay so once you are satisfied you tap you click enter and um, that is not all i'm going to repeat the same process so this time around i'm going to click on the lofty loft tool again and then i will click on the circle inside here yes the circle 
and then I will rotate this and rotate it like this because I'm looking for the circle inside here so I'll click on this particular circle yes and then I'll type, click enter now I'm going to adjust again so let me rotate it like this okay so I will click on this then click on draft angle and I will make adjustment just like I did before so this one since it's inside you might not even really see what is going on so the thing is you cannot see because it is inside but let us just assume what we are doing it's okay from inside there okay so when you are satisfied you that you you click enter and it is done so let's now rotate and see okay <laughs> all right so 3d jets engine so let's look at the original drawing yeah so the best results you can get depends on how you want it to look like the accuracy of the dimensions you give and all those things so for now this is where we are going to stop so please if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel subscribe because there are other interesting drawing that we are going to make so please subscribe so that you will be able to receive some uh, notifications once video like this is dropping all right for now bye